hello friends today in we can see the new topic in applied thermodynamics which is the name of the topic is battery ignition system so battery is one of the energy stored device and it can be stored the energy and it can be utilized when and as required by using this this stored energy we can use we can adopt various system particularly talking uh, talking about particular subject we can mostly use the battery into the ignition system of ic engine mostly it is used in four wheelers but nowadays it can be used into two wheelers also battery ignition system is used in automobile to produce the sparks in the spark plug with the help of battery it is generally we can say one type of stored energy which is used to generate the sparks while the uh, spark plug will be generate the sparks and the cycle runs very smoothly now the main components of battery ignition systems are ignition switch battery ignition coil and resistors contact breakers distributors capacitors and at the end of it we can utilize it with the spark plug now what what kind of uh, things we can see in the battery ignition system it trigger out the system and the spark will get Uh, ignited on the fuel this fuel we can see will get burns and the cycle of the ic engine is in the moving condition by talking by talking about the parts we can contribute these parts one by one the first one is ignition switch it is used for on and off the engine and one end of the switch is connected to primary winding while as another another point is connected to coil via ballast reservoir and another end which is connected to battery basically when the key is put inside the turn and switch is on and position then circuit is completed and which is generally often as a closed circuit when move to the towards off then the work has open and nowadays the switch is replaced by the push button for the advanced automobile engineering is advances and we can convert it this kind of switches into push button type switches another part which is battery it is a battery which is provided the supply to individual current and the ignition system it is more specifically of ignition coil now the voltage for the battery is around 6 volt to 12 volts and now for four wheeler or heavy vehicle it is up to 24 volt also in automobile there are two types of battery are widely used one of is lead acid battery and another one is alkaline battery although there is also zinc acid battery and lithium ion battery is also used in modern vehicles <coughs> the third part of the battery ignition system is ignition coil it is the main junction of your you can see the main part of the battery ignition system the main purpose of this step is a battery voltage and so it is sufficient to generate the spark it is working as a step of transformer like is an electric transformer there is if there is a requirement of power generation then it gives the power to the ignition purpose and there is a black, uh, maximum power supply then it can be stored as a, in form of energy into under circuit in the same sub system the battery can be work which have the less turn and other one is secondary which is higher number of turn the distributors of the battery battery ignition system is to multi cylinder engine and it is the purpose it to regulate the spark 
of the spark plug as into the correct sequence that is when and as it is required now brush types brush are given into the starter motor and it is consist of carbon brushes which is slide over the metallic section and in the distributor gap in this type one of the another type is gap type which is arm is passed through the metallic section and can be uh, can cup but does not touches the surface of the distributor cap that is why it is called gap type distributor then the capacitor and the spark plug are the end user final parts of the battery ignition system the capacitor and spark plug are the two major parts of the battery ignition the capacitor is a strong device where the electrical energy is stored and it is fitted parallel to the contact breaker when the current drops then it is supplied to the additional current so the spark plug is produced it is made up of two metallic parts and separated by air or any other insulating material the end use part of the particular system is spark plug spark plug is another important part of the battery ignition system and the actual spark is generated for the combustion of fuel thing if there is the more than once one spark plug exists then each one is connected separately with the distributor distribution given to the spark and in the sequence the sequential operations can be performed with the help of battery ignition system and battery is easily portable and it can be easily fitted along the two wheeler and also in the four wheeler so today's topic on the battery ignition system is over we have meet in applied thermodynamics in another topic thank you thank you very much